It's a lovely morning this morning. Been out with um, some of the family, um, just at like soft play and stuff. And not soft play, like it was like one of those play village type things. And then we went for lunch. That was very nice. Uh, we should film any of it because there was lots of children involved, and I don't like to do that without parental consent. So um, yeah, so it, the in that, and then I've come home. It's very rainy now. Um, but we have two house guests with us this week so far. The cat isn't impressed and neither are the chickens or the duck. Benjamin doesn't seem to really care, he's sticking his nose out to have a look. Um, but yeah, the dogs went up to the just the door of the coop, they're not allowed to actually in there. And they freaked out, they've knocked over their food and everything, so I know now to keep them well away. They're not cold, they haven't been out here long, they're just excited that there's poultry in there. now in the comfort of the indoors um yeah so the chickens really freaked out with the dogs but i'll make sure that they don't go near the door now um like i say they're not allowed in there um but yeah doris keeps um seeing them through the window and then running up and getting really excited and she's like pining because she wants to get to the chickens um but you're not allowed them are you darling and then look you can literally see she's like shaking with excitement um um but yeah it's horrible and raining outside um so i'm just chilling this afternoon um just playing harry potter lego and stuff like that so yeah proper chilled afternoon um yeah this weekend i think i'm gonna plan to do stuff like getting my pumpkins up and covering stuff over because i've heard it's getting very cold so that's gonna be my plan for the weekend i've also got the joy of my flu jab which is a necessary evil. That's my annual flu, flu jab done. Um, I never look forward to it, but I have had a couple of paracetamol um, and nice and quick jab, so I'm hoping I won't feel too, too bad from it. But. Um, yeah, ne never my favourite time of year, the jab season, but um, it's worth getting it out of the way. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that I'll be able to um, get on with stuff in the garden this weekend because we're due to get our first frost. So I want to make sure I've got my pumpkins up, um, things are staying in covered, that kind of thing. Um, and just hoping to get some of that done this week, including doing like uh, sowing up some more peas and salads and stuff. Um, but I've had loads of best open stuff this week, so most of my week has been horizontal um, and then I was out yesterday. So, um, so yeah, uh, hoping to get some of that stuff done. Um, I might have to rope in Pete's help, even though it's really me that's the gardener of the two of us. Um, but yeah, see how I go. I'm going to head home now. We're going to walk our house guests and then I'm going to see how I do with just a few jobs in the garden. It's uh, it's got cold this weekend, but it is nice and sunny at least. amazing how dirty this gets after like one dunk of the duck. I'll show you in a bit. I'm just been in them. No sign of uh, flock down yet which is nice. Last this time last year they were in already. Apparently well, we didn't have them this time last year but others had theirs in. Um, I'll open up the door for Benjamin as well. He's got his little rain cover over. It is time to harvest the pumpkins. Um, to be fair they look like they could actually stay on for a bit longer but I'm just a little bit concerned they might rot. There's one I think I'm going to leave on because it's still very small. Um, I'll put a fleece bag over it so it doesn't go all mushy with the frosts. Um, but yeah I think I'll um, 
just start cutting now. My oh, keeps drinking dirty water when she's got perfectly clean water. I don't know why she's so obsessed with it. Um, but I've got um, crown prints down here, and then up there is goosebumps, which I haven't had anything from. But it seems to have had a random growth spurt, so I think I might leave that one in. I'm not expecting anything, but um, it might be quite fun. Um, I think that's a crown prints over there. I think it's just grown round. Um, so yeah. There's one of the ones that rotted away, and then we've got a new one coming here. Um, like I say, I'm not sure it's going to have time to mature. I haven't been able to get my compost bin yet, so I'm still just piling stuff here, ready to go in it. So here's what I've done. There's a few little ones along this one. And then I've just left the one goose bumped in because that's got the male there, but the other one is long, but and loads of flowers, but all female. Um, well, I might be getting that the wrong way around, but whichever, that one's got a little pumpkin on it, so. Um, I've left that one in, but otherwise, fairly clear plot now, ready. I think next weekend, I'm gonna put the onions and the garlic in. Um, I haven't decided if I want to do the cabbage today or not. This one's coloured nicely, but it's still very small. And then this one, I think might be a cross-pollination, because it just doesn't look like anything that I've planted, but it's on the same ones, so I'm not sure what this one is. These tubs as well are out of the duck coop, so they've got lots of uh, pooey goodness in there, so I'm going to spread that out as a mulch on here as well. Um, but I just want to go and get some wolf's manure. Um, I really need to fill that so that they don't keep going up there. And then the other things to do today is I've got a couple of carrots to come out. I need to figure out how to cover these. Um, there's my cabbages. But I haven't decided if I want to put them out or not. Oh, I also want to chop the tomatoes at the bottom. Quick check on my house guests, they're happy just on the sofa. Apparently they're fascinated with the birds being roman free at the minute. Uh, but these are coming off, there's still some green ones but it's very minor and as you can see it's pretty much dying off now, it's too cold for them so they're gonna get trimmed back. I have to say as well, these shells have done really well ever since putting them down, like zero slug damage on these ones. potatoes I'll be moving up to the greenhouse as well uh, so they're done so I think I might move these up there but not put them in the greenhouse till I'm done out here because I don't want to end up blocking myself um, from accessing stuff in there for the minute um, uh, well you can see the difference between outside and inside temperature well inside the greenhouse because my glasses are all steamed up it's 34.7 degrees in here today um so uh so yeah nice and warm in here um it's actually feeling quite tropical um just because i think it's so cold out there and then to come in here um but i've got some tomatoes ready now um and actually the ones i accidentally cut are turning so that's quite good um looks like the mice that i suspected are in here have started pulling at the uh creeping time so uh, and some of those aren't looking very good so um i think i'm going to kind of amalgamate the remaining good ones into the single tray um and then move that out so i haven't got this a bit of a slug trap where it is at the minute so um yeah i'll move that So 
and love the carrot bed to its own devices. These were some that I planted right back in the spring, so. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize they were um, short ones. But uh, yeah, that's quite a tricky carrot. germinated and didn't do anything. I have to clear some of these berries out. They're from the hawthorns right above. I do think it's very cute with the chickens and the duck that they will gravitate to the area of the garden that you're in. Um, so when I was down doing the potatoes they came down that way and now I've come up to the top of the garden to do the carrots. They're, um, they're up here now. What are you doing? I actually don't like them being in this area much because it's a bit of a cat through fair. And we've got some feral cats on the farm. So uh, it's not the best place for them, but whilst I'm up here, I'm going to go back down, I'll show them down. Right, my last job before going for lunch, I'm going to mulch the um, grapes. So we've got one on the key foot there and then we've got one, um, I've got one actually on the patch as well. So I'm just going to use this landscape bark just around the roots, just so that the frost don't, the frost doesn't damage the roots. Um, I feel like I'm doing late today just because th I'm thinking there's frost coming. And whilst I feel like I'll be a bit disappointed there's no frost now that I've been preparing, I'm also just enjoying my day pottering in the garden. So um, yeah, I don't really mind if I, if I think about it. So I'm just gonna carry on. the leaves to start dying off on the vine as we go through the winter. Now we have got some interested birds in what I'm doing. Owl is in the bath. I'm going to write splash around which is just finished. But the dogs are like, oh my god, what is this? They have lived with cats before, but no other animals. Remember how nice and clear it was earlier? Now one swim. And it's all dark. I don't know what, they've got clean water. I don't know why they insist on drinking from here. I did need to go in for a bit just to lay down for a little bit, but um, back out. Um, I'm not gonna do any sewing or anything today, but I might do that tomorrow. Um, I also think I will move out my cabbage but again not until not just yet um, and I might even leave that in the week I'll have a look at what the temperatures are doing just because it's been very warm in the greenhouse I don't want them to move out right as we're getting our first sort of frost this weekend so um, the areas are clear, clear and ready for them um, I've got tunnels I can use with them but I just think I'll wait until they're not quite so adapted to really tropical weather in the greenhouse so um that's my plan um i'll show you what i've been doing with the fleeces and things uh, so i bought these bags it's the first time i've used them and it was absolutely huge um but that's olive tree covered um that is that actually comes with um like tent pole type things but it works like that over that and then i've got a couple more of these so I'm gonna put those over this and this or I don't know if I need to do the carrots um, but I'll just I'll decide on that one um, but they're actually huge and then I'm gonna get some cord or twine or something and tie them all on and make sure that the wind doesn't blow them off
decided to go with covering the carrots and then I've got uh, you know when you get like a cold food delivery you get these insulated layers I've got some of those spare so I might put them over here because this these are really really small um, and I don't know if that wanted to focus but um, these, are, these are kind of just seedlings so I think I'm just going to put that over so I've got some protection um, and then I'm going to check the temperature in the greenhouse because it's actually too warm in there already for the potatoes but if it's alright in there I will put those in as well which sure fits quite nicely in there which hope they get too squashed and obviously no light can get through so they'll have to come off in the morning um, but yeah that's it pretty much covered up with girls and then I've been using the same things over here so I've done a double layer of the insulation over the pumpkins has dropped a bit so I've now got a very full greenhouse full of potatoes 